So let's go through some of the common shilas that come up on Shavuos. Yesterday we started a little bit the Indian of flowers and some of the other minhogim of cheese. Bukhole, bukhole. I want to go now into a couple more details and especially getting to the sugya of staying up all night, which is of course a very, very chosh of Indian. So we'll start like this. What bracha does a person make on a cheesecake? That is the shaila. We're all familiar with the Gemara bracha stuff, mem Many of us have learned that bi'in and the sugya with the rishonim, because we're learning brachas now. So if you learn brachas, mem very simple. The Mishnah says, koshi yesh, anything that's the ikka. We'll just say it very simply. Whenever you have an ikka and you have a toffel, you always make a bracha on the ikka and that automatically patters the toffel. Which means, and by the way, this is a modika shaila, revirelate melon. And has a whole chuva about this. Is the is the tofel be'etz a chayv in a bracha, or is it patted by the ikka bracha, or it's not chayv in a bracha b'chalal? That's the lumdus behind ikka b'tofel, which we're not going to go into at this moment of time. But the basic idea is, whenever I have two things and I'm eating them together, and they're made to go together, or chashulchan says on one spoon, then the din is that you always have the ikka you make the bracha on, and the tofel does not require a bracha. So just a simple idea of that. For example, a fruit salad. If you have a fruit salad, and in the that fruit salad you have both items that are boire priya eights and boire priya doma. What bracha do I make on a fruit salad? I'm not talking about a platter of fruit that I take piece by piece. That avada I make a separate one. I'm talking about a fruit salad that was cut up. I take a spoon and dip it in. What bracha do I make? I've got both things that are hadoma and her eights. What do I do? The answer is before shikamara bracha stuff mamdalad shochanar some of the base. That very simply you make a bracha on the ikka. What's the ikka? The rive. Whatever rive of the fruit salad is, that's what it's kovei. How does it work? Is it 51%? Is it roi vanika? A lot of different chilas that we're not going to go into at this moment of time. A lot of, lot of chuvas that are written about this yisoy. Of course, when you have a mazoinus there, so even if the mazoinus is not the roiv, as long as the mazoinus was put there for the actual purpose of eating as opposed to stick it together, or as opposed for the crunch, or something like that, then the, the mazoinus has a real tachlis. Memele mazoinus always wins, excluding rice. It always wins. Why? Because mazoinus is choshev. Now, we have not got time to explain every single shayla, um, because there's tons over here. Ikev Tovel is a beautiful sugya. You open up Rashi's base, it's gavaldic. But just one small thing, cheesecake. What is it then with cheesecake? You've got a big, thick layer of cheese, and then you've got the mazoinus on the bottom, right? I'm not talking about a cheesecake, by the way, where they make it sometimes in this country, in many places, it's a lot cheaper to add a lot of flour in there. It's almost like a fluffy sort of mazoinus thick cake that happens to have a cheese flavoring. I'm not talking about that. That could be a mazoinus, by the way, mamish, because it could be, it's like a regular sponge cake that happens to have a cheese flavoring. Of course, that would be a mazoinus. I'm talking about a real thick layer of real cheese, where at the bottom they have the mazoinus over there. What din does that have? So we could say, on one side, that the din of the cheesecake is the din of a shahakal. Why is it a din of a shahakal? Because why am I eating cheesecake for the cheese shabai? Why did they put the mazoinus on the bottom? Just to call it a chalois of a din cake. How can I call a slab of cheese cake? I can't. So the mail, in order to have the chalois of the word cake, I have to put a mazoinus in the bottom. That was the lomdus. You know, people have a lot of lomdus when they make a cheesecake. Not stam, they make it. So therefore, if that's the case, I have to make a shahakal. I is mazoinus, but But there, it's, it's what we call ledabik. It's there just to sort of hold it up. It's like if a person loves herring. The heilige schmaltz heiding. Wow! Where is he? Doodle! Ah, there we go. Right, the Heilige Schmaltz herring, right? So you like the herring, you don't like the cracker. Nobody wants to eat the Eikichel. You don't want to eat the cracker. You're just push it using it. Instead of, they didn't give me spoons, they didn't give me forks. So I like scoop it up that way. So I wouldn't make a mazonis on the cracker unless I like the cracker. So therefore, the same thing over here. Nobody's eating cheesecake for the mazonis. You're eating it for the cheese. So therefore, pastures, it should be a shahakol nihia bit baro. However, you could tie in the lomdus is the whole reason of having cheese. We said yesterday is al pid the ramo is al stushtei alechem is al stu mazonis. If it's al the mazonis, the mazonis have a chashivas. I have to make a mazonis on the cheesecake because of that. I think lemaisa. What we could do is as follows. I think lemaisa. What we could do is it depends how thick it is. If it's a very thick geshmakalea, I would say you pash just you make a mazonis on the whole thing. No, no, don't make a shakal and a mazonis, just the mazonis. Whereas if it's a very thin, small layer that has no chashivas, but um, then that would be a shahakal. And of course, the, the Indian ik of a tofel goes on and on and on. Very gishmak is sugya. Moving on very, very quickly, that as well, something else that we have to learn as well, is psochem daf kuf alef omad base. If you learn psochem daf kuf alef omad base, shochanar semi kufayin ches, and that is the sugya, of course, of 
Shine Mokan. Shine Mokan is, by the way, a very, very common shaila. I wish we could spend two weeks on this right now because it is unbelievably Nagaya almost every single day of your life. I'll give you a scenario, I'll give you a case where it's Nagaya. Right, no shaykh is to shvur, so we'll talk about shvur in a second, but how it's Nagaya, right? For example, a guy makes a coffee and he takes the coffee outside the building because he has a phone call. So he made a shahakol inside the coffee room, right? He made a, made a shahakol, and then he goes outside the building, so he has to make a new shahakol. Because there's something called a Shina Mokan. Says the Rambam, what's the din of a Shina Mokan? It's Hesach Hadas. A person is Masiach Das when he changes his location. What is the qualification of a change of location? Good Shaila, right? Mepina Lepina, Mebias Lebias. There's Mechedel Lechedel. Lots of different Shailas. The Gemara goes through it, Shokhanor goes through it, whatever. Al Kaponim, a very simple idea just to make it idea is if you're sitting in the Bismedjush, you're drinking a, cup, a, a, a can of Coke, you're drinking. A cup of coffee. You get a phone call. You go outside. You come back inside. You have to make a new bracha shahakal. And if you don't, the Gemara says you're stealing from Hashem. That's the din. If a person's mishana his mokim, he changes the place, and just for qualifying purposes, out the building would be considered to be a change of place, right? Into the street for sure. And you have people that, you know, Forget about the shayla of a whole drachim, but a per- and forget about uchel b'shuk doimel kelev. But if a person is eating an ice cream cone on the street, right, and he goes to the ice cream place, right, I'm not talking about in England, yeah, where they have like little, like they don't even have ice cream stores. But I'm talking about in America, where you have ice cream stores with ice cream trucks inside the store, right? You know what I'm talking about, right? Okay, there we're talking about. America. It's good. Okay. So what's the din? You have inside the ice cream store and you're enjoying your ice cream. You made a bracha of a shtetzach, the shadow. What bracha did you make? Did you make a mazonis? I don't know. On the cone, I have no idea. But if you made a shakol on the ice cream, then you go outside into the street or I have to make a new bracha. And if I don't, am I stealing from my chef? Okay, shadow the whole drachim. How's it negate to shwurz? It's very negate to shwurz. It's the get. When you mishana your mokim, when you have a place, I, I wish I had time to be mayor and the sugya. But the Rambam says very simply, when a person is mishana his mokim, there's a little book over there, by the way, that has all the sugya. You can look at all the marmakimas. I wish. Right now we can't. But I'll compare what the Rambam says. When you mishana your mokim, change your place. There's a hesach hadas. It's a shal by the time also, by the way. But I'll compare when there's a hesach hadas. That's an automatic. You lost your bracha. If you lost your bracha, you have to make a new bracha. Now, what qualifies as that? It's a shal. Number one, in location, and number two, which items? Like, for example, bread and mazonas would not require a new bracha. If you're eating a piece of cake and you go outside and you can't, could be like you shouldn't do that, the Mishnah Buddha says. But if you did, but he ever cake, since it's a bracha, hatun, hatun, bracha, bim koima, the Gemara says, I have to come back and make an in my place. My mela does no shinim hokam. Rabbi say the sugya over here is huge. I wish I had time to go through, maybe a different time we'll discuss Elchus Brachas be in, it would be very, very gishmak. But just to give you the Rashi Prokham to understand that when you leave uh, eating a shahakal, ha eats, and ha doma, you generally would have to make a new bracha if it's qualified as a shinoi mokon because there was a hesach hadas. Now in the to shvus, as I said, people are drinking coffees, people are having a break outside, they're going inside. Again, there's different shayas, we can dump the shayla, what's the din of that area over there, outside the bismedrash, by the glass doors over there? What din does that have? Does that have a din of outside the building? Or it's be'etzim in the building, just happens to not have a roof? Right, what's the lumdus of that area over there? Right, it, it, I once got called in by a shtibel here in Yerushalayim and they asked me, Chassidish shtibel, could you explain to me how it works? So they have a bunch of, you know, cabins and coffee shtibel is over there and it's a whole matzah of where do you go from one to the other and if you make a bracha, because for some reason, I don't know why, when people make coffees, they fill it all the way to the top, but you can't move when you make your coffee. I never understood why. Why can't you go a little bit lower and then you can actually move with your coffee? I don't know, but there's a pshat in it. I don't know what it is. But I'll compare him then if you have to make a shakal, right? For shtay, so you can't drink without making a bracha. No, really, you make a shag. Once you make a shag, then you move your places. You're stuck. But basically, the shayla is go on and on and on. One more shayla as well before we get to the sugi of staying up all night, and that is, well, you pay membership. I'll go put in the, 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 the idea is like this: What happens to your bracha chayna? And by the way, this is such a shayla and a gaya every day of your lives. But for sure, shvuas, shvuas, the olim is staying up all night. You're staying up all night, so you're making a coffee. So you drink, you have a coffee, and then 20 minutes later, you want to have another coffee. Do you make a bracha with shayna? But I didn't make a bracha chayna. What if I did make a bracha when it was 10 minutes later? Do I have to make a bracha of Shana? Okay, that, that, okay, Rabbi Sai, Be'er Lacha, Semin, Reish Yud, Reish Yud, Reish a lot to discuss, not right now, but just a simple idea. Have in mind what you should do, okay? And it's a Merdika Yaivitz, by the way. The Yaivitz brings down, oh, I wish, I wish we had more time. The Yaivitz says that when a person is playing basketball, I don't know if he says the words basketball, but that's what he means. That if a person is playing basketball, right? So he's drinking water because he's very thirsty. So he drinks water, he goes on the court, right? And he starts to play. Three minutes later, he's shvitzing, he's thirsty. 
So he lost his bracha Rishonah. Now he wants to have another drink, he has to make a brand new bracha Rishonah. And if he doesn't, he's stealing from Hashem. You realize when it comes to brachas, it's like a checkmate situation. Either you're making a bracha she'en it's three I'm saying Hashem's name for nothing, which is Hashem Yerachim, or you're stealing from Hashem if you didn't make a bracha. You're kind of in a checkmate situation. So without going into lambdas, what should I do? What should I do when it comes to Shavuos night? What should I do? You know what the real answer is? The real answer is you drink a cup of coke, drink the she, a nice amount of arabias, make a bracha achroina, and have kavana when you made your bracha rishon, it should go up until the bracha achroina. And this way, 10 minutes later, when you want to have another cup of coke, another cup of coffee, whatever it may be, then you don't have to make a bracha. Then you have to make a bracha in that case, because your original bracha was only chal on the first cup and not on the second cup. How long does it last? Doesn't make a difference. Meaning, if I've got a, I'm drinking a cup of coffee, right? When I make, no, 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 equal, she equal, which is the case of the of digestion, which we're not going to go into. But if I'm drinking a cup of coffee, I should make the shahakon and say, it's only chal on this cup, drink the she, make a bracha achroina, which means the kolam, I'm chai a bracha, when I have my next cup. Are you with me? You have to make the you the cup? If you had the she, you don't have to finish the cup. And this is in front of you. You should finish the cup, yeah. Then you make a bracha choyna, and then you make the next bracha when you have the next cup of coffee. Otherwise, you have big shailas, a bracha shailas, trichas, stealing from Hashem, my boy's side, the shailas. There you are, on Shavuos, Kabbalah sa Torah, not keeping the Torah. Chas b'sholem. Everybody wants to keep the Torah, right? Okay, my boy's side, I wish I had time. But we're just going to go into just a couple more things. We just had to be makatsu over here. I hope you don't doesn't mind. But just to give a couple of ideas over here. Moish, Gavaldik and Mogan Avram. This Mogan Avram is Gavaldik. This is the Makar, or one of the Makaras, the staying up all night. People ask, what's the point? I never did it before. It's not my minhag. I don't need to do these things. It's not for me. I don't do these things. Who stays up all night? So let me just give you a couple of ideas for Baisai. Modik and Mogan Avram. Top down. Look up the Mogan Avram. The Mogan Avram brings that the minhag is of others, the Makoras is very Kodesh, that a person should stay up all night on the night of Shvuas, right? The Mogan Avram explains Pshat. Klali Yisrael overslept on the morning of Matan Torah. Memela, in order to rectify that Avera, everybody knows. Memela, that's why we stay up all night. There's a Modik Yishuas Yaakov. The Yishuas Yaakov brings another Pshat. He says, which is why Dafka we learn Torah Shabbat Pez, whatever it may be. And the problem is, why are we staying up all night? Why can't we rectify it by waking up early in the morning? If that's what they were meant to do, why don't we do that, right? Scalding. I'll be the guy most in to go to sleep to make me because I'm tired for the oilum. You ever heard that one before? Yeah. yeah, I have. I'll be the guy. I don't mind. I'll be my in I'll go to sleep. I'll make because I'm tired in the morning. You know what? We'll rely on the other yeshiva, which shall not be named at this moment of time that comes to Daven here. They'll be the ones to be to the oilum because I'm tired. You guys are going to be in the base medrash. I'll go upon him. It's the Evan Ezra says pshat that Avada Klal Yisrael, that Evan Ezra says Klal Yisrael were meant to actually stay up all night in anticipation, in waiting for Kabbalah Satoya. Therefore, that's the reason why we stay up all night. And Rabbi Chaim Kanievsky is a very simple Yisrael. It's much easier to stay up all night than it is to wake up in the morning. If you have a flight at four in the morning, who's going to sleep for two hours to wake up? No, I'm going to stay up the whole night because that's much easier. The made is Rabbi Chaim It's much easier in that case. By the way, there's a Trumas Adeshen, right? The Lekhi Yosha brings from his Rebbe the Trumas Adeshen that was noyeg daffer to go to sleep and wake up especially early in that case. Now, of course, there's another shot in the Minig, in the Makar of the Minig, is Reb Shlom al Kabbitz. Reb Shlom al Kabbitz is the author of. <coughs> very good, L'chadoidi. So he wrote over here a very interesting letter. Him and the other Talmidim of that Rizal stayed up on both nights of Shavuois. Both nights, I repeat, of Shavuos, and they sat and they learned throughout the night. And they said there was a giloy, there was a voice, there was a baskol that came out, and they were a letter. Gavaldigazach. In fact, I remember in Yeshiva a couple of years ago, there was a boy, I don't even remember this, the older ones, right? There was a boy that stayed up the second night also, right? Chavai says, if he heard the baskol, didn't hear the baskol, that I don't know. Maybe he was very tired, that could also be, but I'll come upon him. There is an Indian to stay up, you see, from the Tamidim of the Arizal in that case. Now, Rabbi said, the Arizal brings down, if you're looking for scholars, here it is. The Arizal says that if a person is careful, right? The reason Shara Kavon is that if a person is, stays up the whole night and he's not Mavatal Torah for one moment, Zuk the Arizal, it's guaranteed he will live the year without harm. He will not be harmed the entire year. Your life depends on the night of Shvuas. Your night depends on that. Right, the Bogad Avon brings down the Arizal. It's a very serious thing. Many years of Yeshiva, the Olam asked the older guys, they remember, many boys took upon themselves a tiny Dibur that they did not speak the whole night other than Torah. The Yisrael Vishar Shavayda talks about the idea straight off the Bruchas Amazon, you run to the Bismedrash, don't bevatle a single moment in that case over there. 
Let's just say one last thing. It's a chosh of an eye, it's a chosh of an inyan. Shvuas, of course, is the yom hadin for siyata deshmaya, yom hadin for Torah. There's a famous Reboruch Mimezbush um, where he brings down, he was more scared of Shvuas than he was of Rosh Hashanah. And he said, Reboruch Mimezbush said, What's Pshat? He said, Very simple. He says, Rosh Hashanah, Pseidah. So you have a bit of a, a bigger piece of bread, a smaller piece of bread. Pseidah. Right, we'll, we'll live, we'll manage. Oh, but when it comes to Ruchnius, that's Shvuas. I'm petrified. Because your whole Ruchnius is of the following year, people say, Rebbe, I didn't have a good man. I'm not in to it. Where does it come from? Your shvuas night of the year before. If you want to have Avarava, very good. We'll talk about that as well. Shkoyach Tobi, the Heilige Avarava. Ah, excited for Valdik. But I've got him, the shvuas night depends on your future year, on your future years. So therefore, if you want to have a good year of Torah, if you want to have good siyata de in your learning, in your cheshek and everything, it's all shvuas night, Rabbi Sai. Concentrate on the shvuas night, it's worth it. Not to speak, not to be a Torah, not to mess around. You can mess around all other times. This is not a time to mess around. This is the time to be able to sit, to learn, to be moist and nefesh, to show the Rabban Shem, I want your Torah, and if I want it, then Be'ez Hashem, the Rabban Shem, will give it to us. There's a Moed Gerab Chaim Palaji, in Moed Kol Chai, where he brings down someone that doesn't sleep, it's a Gavaldiga Mazel, Stamazoid, for sleeping, that you won't have a year of sleep, you'll finish the year, you'll be Zorcha to Bonim Tamidei Chachomim, and it will masakin many things inside you that you need to be masakin in that case. The Kitzah Shlob brings down, if a person doesn't sleep and learns the whole night, then he will be saved from Kores, from the Chi of Kores, the whole year. So we're dealing with Baisa with a night that's full of Kedusha on the night of Yom Tov Betim Menchan Mar Be'ez HaShem will go much more be'in into the sugya of what's going on. But it is very, very chosh. Let me just mention one last thing and that is what should a person learn? This is obviously the kasha, right? Of Shavuos night. It came out that the Vilna Goyen famously sat down and did a Tikkun Lel Shavuos which many of the Hasidah Sha'olam, the father Sha'olam have a minute to say Tikkun Lel Shavuos which is a little piece of each of Kola Kula, and you end up, you finish the whole thing, you basically did a little piece of Kola Kula. Mamish, you did Tanakh and the Shas and everything. It's unbelievable. Right, it's all that. So the Vilna Gaon sat and he did it. Came along the Dubna Magid and he opened up his Gemara Bob and And it was like, I don't know, like, what's going on over here? So they were you know, arguing back and forth, what was the right thing to do? So the Dubna Magid explained his Pshat, why he was doing what he's doing, to the Vilna Gaon in the following way. He said, Imagine if a person decides to open up a store, he wants to sell clo cloth. Clothing, cloth, material, shmatas, whatever it may be. So he goes to the market and he sets up a nice stall, a nice beautiful market stall over there, and he puts pieces of each fabric, you know, different colours, different textures, little samples, right, on there, right? So someone says, Oh, that blue one over there. I'd like six meters of that blue one over there. And you're like, Oh, uh, I don't have any I don't have any of it. No, what do you mean? Why are you showing a sample of something that you don't have? You have to have a warehouse with all of the material. In the market you show what the samples are of what I have in the warehouse. And if you want that colour, I'll give it to you, I'll go inside. So the market said, Vilna Gain, you have colour terikula. So the main is Shavuos night, you can manage to show the samples of what you have. You've got it all in the warehouse. Me, he said, they don't mind it. Oh, I don't have colour terikula. I mean, I just sit down and learn about Whatever you learn is Gavaldic. Whatever you do is Gavaldic. The Rabban Shem will help all of us, Be'ez Hashem, will have Kavana to be Yitzah. Beautiful night of Shavuos. And will be Yitzah to all the brachas that Shavuos brings. Have a great day. Oh, wow.